Welcome back to Design Bundles YouTube channel. If you guys are new here, my name is Crystal and today I have a very quick project for you. It may be quick, but it's going to be a ton of fun and it's definitely very beginner friendly. If you guys are just now getting into die cutting with a Cricut or maybe even the Cricut Joy or Silhouette. Now I will say that any of your Cricuts, whether it's a Cricut Maker, Cricut Explorer, um, any of the versions as well as the Cricut Joy are all going to work perfectly for this project. But I will say if you guys have the Cricut Joy, it's absolutely perfect. It's like it's made for making things like this because that measurement is gonna be absolutely perfect. You're gonna cut them down to size. And so these right here are something, this is a project that is perfect for your Cricut Joy, if you will. So what I'm using here is the beer glasses. These are, um, some people call them beer glasses, beer can glasses, and Libby glasses. So we actually have a ton of different um, full wrap designs on designbundles.net. Now the one that I'm using today comes with multiple designs. So I've already done this really cute ghost one as you can see here, it is adorable. Now I used white vinyl on this one, but it would be really cute to use glow in the dark because that vinyl is white as well, but whenever you are in the dark, it's gonna glow. So I highly recommend if you guys are gonna be making these projects with the ghost ones at all, Maybe snag yourself some of that glow in the dark. So I've already made this one here. So this is one of the designs. It comes with a ton of them. But on top of it, if you guys are a Plus member, our designers have went above and beyond and they have created a ton of these um, beer glass wraps for the um, for this holiday season. So make sure you guys check those out as well. You can simply put in our search bar, um, beer glass, you could put in beer glass wraps, you could put in Halloween beer glass wraps, all of the things. But like I said, I have this bundle linked down below. All right, so we've got our permanent adhesive vinyl. So whenever it comes to something like this that you're gonna wash, you want to use permanent. Um, and then I also recommend that you hand wash it as well. So we've got our vinyl, and then you're gonna want some transfer tape. I'm using Caesar transfer tape today, so I'll also have it linked down below, as well as a squeegee. So the squeegee is gonna work as two ways. It's going to be a holder for us, and it's also going to work as our squeegee, because this one has a line in the center, and I'll show you that in a minute. And then I also have some parchment paper. This is gonna allow us to line those designs up perfectly, as well as work as a barrier in between those pieces there. Another thing that you may wanna get is a nice clean cloth. This is just like an eyeglass um, cloth here. And so you wanna make sure that you remove any sort of lint and debris from your glasses. So we'll go ahead and do that right away. And then you may need a pair of scissors and then obviously your weeding tool. I'm gonna to go ahead and weed these. Now the really fun thing about these glasses, we have a lot of tutorials, but the ones that I've done in the past actually have the lid and the straw. So I have the ones that I've purchased down below, but I'm also gonna link some other ones that do come with the lid and the straw, as well as linking just the lid and the glass straw, because I do like the glass straws. They're really a ton of fun. So I'm gonna have all those linked down below as well. So you guys can see how easy that weeded out. Now, the reason why I chose the bats, because first of all, I actually recorded this video first, but I had no sound, so we're redoing it and it just gives me an opportunity to show you two of the designs. So I chose bats, so that way we could share this over on like Insta and TikTok and do that. Um, you know I had that sound that said it's freaking bats, I think that's gonna be cute. So we are going to carefully, I tried to pick a piece up, I'll fix it in just a second. There we go. And if you guys are wondering, I do, um, I think Cricut, the Smart Materials works just as good. I could have cut this without the mat, but what I did was, since it's two layers, I actually used one blue mat, one mat that went in the machine, and I load the black part on the top and then the orange part on the bottom, so that way I only had to load my mat one time. So that's why I chose to put it on the mat. But I like to show that too, because a question I get all the time is, can you put the Smart Materials on a mat, like if you have scraps, and yes, you can. All right, so, and then what I did, because it's two different materials, because this is kind of like a foil, if you will, I just did it on that smart settings, like I said, because it was on one map and it cut just fine. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna pick my bats up first and then I'll line up the next one. So let's go ahead and do that. So we're gonna go ahead and take our transfer tape next, all right? So I'm gonna go ahead and peel off my backing. Now, if you guys are new to die cutting as well, you guys can reuse this over and over again. So it's not just one use. And you can also pick up like contact paper from the Dollar Tree, um, as well as your local shopping places like, you know, Walmart, Target, and all those places. Lowe's 
um, and you can use that as well. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and load this down here. And so what we're gonna do is I'm gonna rub all of those black little bats here. So we just gotta do that. You don't have to go all the way across. So I'm just gonna go over each of those just to help pick up all of those pieces. Now I will say if you're struggling using the Cricut Smart Materials or any of the Cricut Materials, I have found that it, they do work best with the um, Cricut Transfer Tape. So if you have some, definitely get yourself some Cricut Transfer Tape and it'll help out as well. And then we have something that looks about like this. So what we're gonna do now is I'm going to place this right on top. So I've cut down a piece of the parchment paper and I'm gonna go ahead and just lay this right on top because what's really cool about this trick is it will not stick to it. So you can go ahead and see, it just pulls off really easy. But what you wanna do, you see how I've left, I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys down here, how I've left a little border, I've left some out. So it's very important, you wanna make sure you leave some of this tape out. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna line up the next one. So we're just gonna go right here just to make sure that everything is where it needs to be, it looks good. So I'm gonna rub down that top part of that tape. So we'll go ahead and do that just to get it to adhere to the next one. And then I'm gonna pull out, very carefully pull out that parchment and there you have it. This is perfect, like I said, for beginners because it's going to allow you to line these up absolutely perfect. Now you can definitely do it without the parchment. You don't have to have that. That is definitely a good little tip there. Okay, so all I needed to rub down was the orange spots because I don't need to go over all that block again. All right, so once again, we're going to peel off our backing, and then you could have something like this. So what's really cool about doing it this way is now it's one solid sticker. So like this one, I did the exact same thing with all three layers, and that allows me to apply it to the cup one time instead of trying to line everything up, and that's where stuff can go wrong. All right, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our beer glass, once again, make sure it's nice and clean, take your squeegee, you're gonna line that up just like this, and then you're gonna line your cup on top of that squeegee, just like so. All right, so once you have your cup placed on top of your squeegee, we're simply just gonna go hover right above this, and then we're gonna get it, make sure it's nice and straight, and we're gonna go down. Now you could definitely get your parchment once again. We would line it up and have just a piece like this down, and that allows you to start one end and then slowly work all the way around. So you can definitely do that as well but this is another way that I like to do it. So you want to make sure that you're hovered right above it. So you wanna make sure you're nice and centered. Once you have that, we're gonna go ahead and rub down that center and I'll work from one side to the next. So I'll go ahead and get down the one side and then I'll work my way to the other side. So if you feel like anything's overlapping, you can go ahead and carefully peel that back and we're gonna go ahead and make sure we're just rubbing everything down. So once you have everything on here like this, you could take your squeegee and then go into each individual piece, or you can even just use your fingers. So you can do that as well. So we're just gonna go over each and every piece, just like so. And once again, you could definitely just go quickly if you need to with your squeegee. If you feel like there's any bubbles in, so like right here, I have these bubbles here. I'm not concerned about that because it's actually not my vinyl. It's just my carrier sheet, my transfer sheet, if you will. And you're just going to nice and slowly Peel. So you want to kind of have your transfer tape flat and then just slowly peel. There we have it. So now any of these little bubbles like this, you can go in by hand and you can adjust those so you can get any of those little bubbles or if it seems like it's buckled in some spots, you can definitely do that as well. So once I do that, I'll go ahead and take my fingers and then just press press, press, press. There we have it. And we can take that cloth. I'm going to clean this one more time. <laughs> I got fingerprints all over it. And there we have it. How stinking cute is this? But these are just two of the designs that you guys could get out of that bundle. It's so cute. If you guys have not already joined our Facebook community group, you can find it in the description below. And over there, you're gonna find other crafters just like yourself, lots of inspiration. You're gonna see tons of ideas using our files and you can share with us. So if you guys recreate this, you guys can share it over there. So that way I can go check it out and send you guys some love. We also do um, giveaways, we have freebies over there. So once again, make sure you guys join and also check out our Instagram and TikTok and all of the things. I hope you guys have enjoyed this. If you did, please hit the like button down below and subscribe.
see you guys on the next one.